Welcome to lesson seven of our Safe at Home Visual Journal series. In this lesson, students will create a sketch of their quarantine buddy and write a journal reflection explaining what makes this person special to them and how they have stayed connected during the stay at home order. We're gonna plan out our work today, sketch, and end with a journal reflection. Please post any questions that you may have at any time in the comments section. I'm available for discussion and to answer questions during art class on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 12.30 and during my office hours Monday through Thursday from 3 to 3.30 p.m. In our visual journals, we're reflecting on our experiences and recording a historical primary document of this time that we're living through. This week we answer the question, who are the people supporting you through this time? Today's prompt is, draw your quarantine buddy. So who is your quarantine buddy? Who has been there for you? Who's been helping you get through? How have you been staying in touch with this person? Let's get ready to sketch. So my quarantine buddy is my 21 month old son. So to get started, drawing an oval for the face, dividing it in half, symmetrically, horizontally and vertically. And I'm breaking up all the proportions into eye widths. So your head should actually be five eye widths wide, seven eye widths tall, with one eye width in between each eye. If you turn the eye width sideways so that the eye is then up and down, the nose is actually one eye width down from the eyes and the bottom of the mouth one eye width down from the nose. You can use the eye width to measure everything on the face. So far the most challenging part of this drawing has been getting the foreshortening in the arm and the hand. I'm going to go through and check the proportions one more time develop some more details as I go, and then I'll finish this off with watercolor. So my son is my quarantine buddy because we have a lot of fun playing together, and his laughter really helps bring up my spirits, and we just really have a great time exploring and learning new things. The photo I'm working from is a recent one with his watercolor set. He loves to paint and he has fun splashing the colors all over the paper. All right, now it's time to paint. I'm gonna start by washing in a thin layer of Naples yellow to kind of create a light yellow tint to the skin tone. And I'm also gonna do that in the hair to help provide some highlights. And while that dries, I'll start painting in some of the other details. I'm going to start to slowly build up the form with light washes of burnt sienna. Here I'm adding a little cadmium red to warm up the cheeks. Slowly those layers of warm red burnt sienna will start to push the shadows back and it'll help to bring that Naples yellow warm light tone to the foreground. Where I need to darken my shadows, I'll add a little bit of French ultramarine, which is a blue that'll really create a dark, cool shadow. Let's add a little bit more red around the lips and then start to paint in some details.
All right, the home stretch now. I'm gonna clean up the form a little bit, finish off some last minute details and some last minute shadows, and wrap this one up. If you're still unsure of how to post a seesaw, please see this video or contact me directly. These are our journal reflection questions for today. Who did you draw? What does this person mean to you? And how have you been able to communicate or connect with this person during the stay at home order? As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with the latest lessons.